no grass, uh, a big chain link fence around it, buildings in disrepair. And so this was this gray, dark lady who had been abandoned. It was a dark, dank, heavy, uh, beat up old building. It, it didn't have much uh, charm. Paint was peeling, and floors were dark, and windows were covered over. And it was like a black hole, you know. It was uh, something that everybody went around. And it was so important to try to bring this entire block uh, back into circulation with the business community, with the downtown community. I think the center really represents the cultural hub of Delray Beach. I think every community has to have a center, a place that everybody calls the center of the town and a place where everyone can feel like they belong or it belongs to them. It wasn't always the heart of Delray, but the museum and, and the, uh, the facility was recovered, uh, developed, and then Del Rey improved and grew around it. So it really is, it's become the heart of Del Rey. Uh, it's become the, the, the center of attraction. I think if Del Rey did not have Old School Square and the Center for the Arts, it would just be another town between Boca and Palm Beach. I've been coming to the Crest Theater for at least 15 years. I've had the opportunity to see some of the best cabaret outside of New York City, had the opportunity to see both Broadway Tony nominees and Tony Award winners. And the really nice thing is I get to see them after the show, up close and personal, during the receptions, and get a good background of what they do, both in New York and on the road, and it's a really wonderful venue. I have been involved with the Crest Theatre Lecture Series for about 15, 16 years. The format of the lecture series is terrific because it is the Crest Theater is a small theater, and so you feel a real intimacy with the speakers. And then after the lecture, we go into a reception room, and you can actually talk to the speakers. I think the goal of the lecture series has always been to educate and to entertain, and it has definitely done both. We think this, the center is special because of the events that you put on and uh, specifically at this part of the year, uh, in the winter months, you put on the concerts in the square. Uh, we love, we sit there and we just, you know, at this time of year you can see the tree behind you and it's just such a feeling. We look at each other and go, I, we can't believe we live here and work here because it's just such a great area. It looks like, uh, like a town out of, um, out of a book somewhere with that tree out there during the winter months. One of the most important things is we have a diverse community. We have a community that's made up of um, many different religions, many different races, and old school's biggest challenge will be to make sure that they're open for all people. I believe if we can get not only the African American community to come into old school square, come into facilities like the old school square, I think uh, it'll be a, a different in the way that people feel because it's one place where people meet and there is no barrier. I just did a completed a report and I went back to look at diversity and how we celebrated it and what came up was Old School Square and all the festivals that celebrate different cultures and how we all come together to support that on these grounds. As a volunteer at Delray Center for the Arts I have the opportunity to work with the children in the Tour and Ride program. This is when children come from their schools they're pre-K through grades three, 
and they get to participate in the museum program. They get to go through the Christmas tree and they get to ride the carousel. This is an opportunity that they probably wouldn't have if this facility didn't make these services available to them. And I love, I absolutely love working with these little guys. My school often came here for field trips and touring the different galleries and doing all the fun art projects. I never thought that going here, my experience here, would change my life. When I entered high school, thanks to the scholarship program here, I was able to take photography classes and drawing classes, and that helped build a great portfolio for me that I could present to major art schools that I wanted to attend. And thanks to that portfolio that I was able to build, I, I now currently go to Savannah College of Art and Design. Another program that I've been involved in is Kicking Arts and Arts Fundamentals, which is a program for children. It um, affords children in the third grade and the fifth grades to come to the museum to be involved in live theater, live dance, and a live art project as well as go on a tour of the museum. I was at a meeting and I saw a woman with a shirt that said Old School Square and I asked her about it looking for a place to volunteer and I came and my life changed. At some future point when all the renovations are complete the loggia will be added. This last phase is one of the most exciting because of the outdoor activities it can support. You know, when we were dust and dirt, and there were times when people said it wouldn't work, I just looked out there today and I thought, it did, and it will, and it is. You don't get an opportunity like this very often. You, you probably, sometimes you never get an opportunity like this. There are communities all over America who have this opportunity, and some take it and do something with it, and other communities don't. We had a community who responded. You know, the buildings are ready now almost, and the construction's nearly over, but you know, this is only step one. The real fun of this project is going to be now. Now it waits for the creativity of the community, and now is when the community can come and play. And what it becomes is how the community develops its own personality on this site. If you think we've been having fun in the past, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs>